all right there. Ooh. Hi, Velvet. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna close the door from Liz's uh, stream. Cause she's like a lot louder than I am and I think um, you guys aren't gonna really be able to hear me if we're streaming at the same time. And the stream room is open even though it's like on the other side of the house. I just, I think I'm like way more soft-spoken without alcoholic beverages. Okay, okay. Both. Okay, I kind of wanted to put on some like royalty free music. <sighs> but to do that, I think I have to. Oh, where's the stream? Um, I don't know how I'm going to have this and the wig in my brain. I consider this. so tall. What if it was like anyway, look how ridiculous this wig looks right now. Me, me. Goes in here, I think. Do, 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 do. This is actually like an Amazon wish list purchase. So it's like kinda cute but also a little ganky. Oh, hello, feeling better. Was I not feeling well? Liz was feeling well earlier. But I did forget my credit card at a restaurant yesterday and had to go get it today because I somehow didn't realize it was missing the entire time. This is for Miss Hina. Um, so I actually have to style two wigs for this. Um, because the photos that I kind of wanted to do is like a Goro getting into Miss Hina kind of thing. Um, so I have to style Goro's wig. But I bought some like teal pajamas for Goro. So he's going to be like waking up after like a sleepover with Yamiko, right? And I thought it would be cute if Liz was Yamiko. And then Yamiko is like time to get into costume. And he's going to be like ooh ooh in his little teal pajamas. Um... And then uh, do like a montage of like him getting into the outfit and everything. I thought it'd be really cute. Thoughts on eggs? You know, I do quite like me an egg, so pretty good egg. I left it in a drawer for like <clears throat> a few days maybe I don't know okay so how many tattoos do I have seven I would like to get like a lot more but right now I'm being financially responsible so ooh woo no tattoos for me but like I want smog I want like some dragon tattoos because I'm just weirdly obsessed with dragons um, I think it would be so, like, I have to wait. Like, I always give myself some time, but I'm, like, so obsessed with, uh, Morax that I'm, like, I feel like Zhang Li's dragon form will be a tattoo I eventually want, but I'm gonna let myself, like, stew on that for a while. I do know I really want smog, and I've wanted smog for a few years now, so I feel like that one's a consistent one. Miss Hina's from um, Genshin Impact, so it's the pseudo, it's kind of like a um, pseudo identity of Goro that Ye Miko forced upon him to write like a blog in her paper, 
and it was like an event. Um, but I think it's pretty cute, so we're gonna do it. Alright, let's see if I have like a cookie clip. this would be fun because I could show you guys a lot of the tools I use while styling wigs. Um, I use T-pins a lot. They're just convenient. Um, and holding hair when I need it out of place. I know a lot of people use like a uh, little C, like little like banana looking clips. You know, I think I just look melancholy 90% of the time. So don't worry if I ever look melancholy. It's probably just me being like, ooh, ooh. But. Do, 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 do. I have like a very chill state of being at all points of time. So I'm usually very like, I don't know, neutral. Like I'm always neutral. So for this, I wanted to try something a little bit new. So usually when I tease wigs, all I do is heat them up um, with like a blow dryer, like a hair dryer, and then I tease them and then I spray them. But I've been watching a lot of videos on um, crimping and using crimping to add volume. So I bought myself the cheapest crimpers on Amazon. It's a... big boy and we're gonna try it out so this one was really affordable I think it was under $20 um all the other ones were really expensive and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna even like this so we're not gonna invest that much into it I'm going to test the end of this hair and see how heat resistant it is because Amazon wigs have a tendency to be a little bit not uh Heat resistant. Meet me. Uh. Let's see. The cool thing about this is it does have like different heat settings. So we're gonna start at 280 and see if it'll handle that. Yeah, the pin, you can use those pins for a ton of different things. I love using them for um, foam too. Uh, I'll use it to hold like large pieces of foam together if I'm trying to like cut uh, so it doesn't slip and slide if that makes sense um, and then I just fill the holes later I know that's a whole nother step that nobody wants to add to <laughs> foam work but I do it because I don't know I just do it um, this uh, crimper was bought off my wish list it's really cute um, it's very tiny so it's, which is why I ended up buying that like really cheap one. But I think this would be really good for like short wigs or like the, the base. So I'm gonna try crimping just the, really where the wig cap is. So it adds some volume there. And then we'll see. This one doesn't have a temperature guide, just as low, medium, high. So we're gonna see how that goes. Anyway, I feel like this is like, lopsided maybe like that okay I'm gonna try and turn this so you actually can maybe see what I'm doing maybe I look like a tiny very tiny human being with this oh, <laughs> maybe. there we go that's a little better I think I'm gonna sit on my knees god gosh the is so long Ugh. yeah i literally looked at it when i got in and i was like um thanking the person who got it for me and they're like will that suit all your needs and i was just like yeah it will so i didn't want to tell them it was too small um but i think it's great for what it can be used for i just realized i don't have enough plugs 
Let me see if I have an extension cord. <laughs> Goodbye forever. trying to do like a really quick makeup um like a which one of these is plugged in over here i don't know what i'm doing uh like a day-to-day -day makeup that takes me less than 20 minutes and this are my attempts so they'll progressively hopefully get better until that point don't you fall no. ow ow oh i grabbed it at home don't don't if the hot appliance is falling just let it fall don't grab it Ow. anyway it's one of those days at least it was on the lowest setting which is still 280 degrees hmm. oh welcome off of work thanks I was like what are we gonna vibe with the outfit today? And I was like, uh, Drary is the vibe. Slytherin X Gryffindor OC is the vibe. Christmas is the vibe. Whatever you want it to be, red versus green. Oh my God, it really is. I'm just like, I'm overheated. I'm feeling mildly menopausal. I'm not even menopausal, but I'm feeling like I am, you know, that kind of vibe. <laughs> oh, good night, Peru. Thanks. That's so sweet. I really like being Bakugo. I think and like but to be fair I also really like being Zhang Li. But like lately, like whenever I post Zhang Li, the posts do so bad and I was like, do people just really hate how I look as this character? Or is like reach bad and I, I don't know. It's put like a dampen on like being that character, but that character is like currently like my favorite character. Which is a little bit depressing, you know, as it is, but I was like the algorithm is a fickle, a fickle mistress, so. I'm gonna pull this closer. I'm so blind that I can't really read what the comments are saying. It's just gonna be like this very, like, like a far to close. I haven't seen the Hocus Pocus trailer. I do use the Slytherin mug you sent me. Oh my gosh. It's like the perfect size for our double espresso um, from Nespresso. So I do that in the steamed milk and stuff. I also kind of like that it's, um, it's just, uh, is it called embossed or something? It's like fancy detail. came out oh I gotta watch that I haven't seen it honestly I've been so busy with trying to like sort through because we just filmed all of our CMV stuff so I've been on like um sort through the video duty um and it's all sorted through like all of our CMV stuff I just have to wait for Liz to approve some of the clips I chose of her solos 
that I um, shot of her and then once that's done I'll start the editing process which is cool because it's like this really dark and twisted um, villain my hero AU thing that we're doing and it's what won on Patreon so pretty excited to edit that together it's a lot darker than our normal stuff and I was like I really like a good like dramatic and twisted plot line and I know that's like not everyone's cup of tea but I was like I feel like we do so much cute shit that we can branch off from that every so often and do some some dark and twisted goodies for those who are into like the more horror genre it definitely falls more under like the, the um, mafia-esque torture kind of whatever hoobaloo you know so look out for that that one will go live in august for anyone who isn't a patron but it will go for patrons though you'll get it in the next few days I hope the Hufflepuff version, that's so cute. Every Slytherin needs a Hufflepuff, so that works perfectly. Okay, so since this is the bottom layer, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like this big boy, big boy vibes. And we're just gonna go ahead, I think I was supposed to, <laughs> I probably should have tried this lower on in case this doesn't work out well, but we die like men. If it burns off the thing, it burns off the thing. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I wanted to hold this on. I feel like our Caraba order is going wrong because Liz, Liz is like yelling about it. So now I'm concerned, but we shall see what's going on. We ordered Carabas and Liz put it on my card, so she's trying to like, I think, figure out if they're actually gonna drive to our BFE house because we live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Exactly. Speaking of Jason Todd, I finally, I ordered, so last year for my birthday, I was feeling real depressed, right? So I bought myself a gift um, because like um, most of the people I was close to forgot it was my birthday. So I bought myself my own birthday gift because I was feeling crazy, you know? And um, it was a Jason Todd helmet and I finally got it a year later and it's so pretty um so I want to shoot like some angsty Jason Todd stuff I think it would be so fun to like one of the if one of the CMVs could be like like under the red hood inspired I was like I know not a lot of our patrons really care about uh DC let alone my like weird Jason Todd obsession but I think it would be so cool um because there's not really many, like, there's definitely, like, no, um, what do you call it, uh, like, cinematic content, I think, like, live action of him, and I feel like it is a untapped market, but he's definitely, like, a niche character, I think, I think most people like Tim or Dick or Damien, but, um, I'm 100% like a Jason Todd fan. Right? He's just... Uh, that's it. Like, you show me all the Robins, and I'm like, alright, yeah. I was like, Dick kind of... I'm like, he's like... 
he's close. He's close. He's got the angsty backstory, right? And like he's like super happy going. But then you give me like the 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 kind of like um comes from nothing character that like was found and loved and then everything was taken away from him. He was like so bright and then now he's just so dark and tormented and I'm just weak for that kind of stereotype, I think. So I think I'm gonna leave the ends not crimped. Um, just because I don't really need body in the ends, I think. I'm just gonna crimp the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I've got this dick figure and his butt is so nice. And I was like, you know, if I could give anything to DC, it's that they do not skimp out on the booty on their characters. They're like, if they're lifting this much weights and they're this acrobatic, they're gonna have a nice butt. And I was like, I appreciate this. Appreciate your uh, attempt to detail. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome to stream. It's a nice chill stream. We're just doing some, some styling so I can shoot this. Um, I wanted to shoot this before the end of the month for Patreon, but Will it actually get done before the end of the month? Who knows? <laughs> oh no. Well, welcome back to streaming, you know? I'm trying to be better about, like, making sure I stream, like, once a week because you guys deserve it. And a good portion of you are paying for it. So, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get better on the schedule. I'm, like, bullying Liz into a schedule, so, you know, once I get her into, like, a, like a strict schedule, then getting myself into a schedule will be no issue. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, usually like, I asked um on Discord this morning to see like what a good time to stream was. And everyone was like after 7.30. And I was like, bet, I can do that. And they were also like before like one in the morning. And I was like, okay, I guess I can do that. I like how this feels. This is like really like pleasing, like sensor, sensory. A lot of sensory pleasure from this. I don't really know. You know what I mean. This is hot. This feels hot. All right, I want to see how this guy works. I wanted to like more like crimp these. Ooh, bosh. You know if this is like more intense or about the same amount of intense. Hmm. How do I know? Okay, if you leave it on there for a second, it does actually crimp, but you gotta do it like row by row, it looks like. Which is a little frustrating, but not too bad, you know? Put some effort where you want results, I guess. Oh my god, so Liz is like a night owl, I'm like a morning owl, but like, I'm a morning owl because like, my body just refuses to be a night owl, like it just can't do it. I used to be able to do it, and I don't know, I've just gotten old, I guess. 
so the longer I like go or I stay up too late and then I'm getting up midday the the worse my mental health is um <laughs> unfortunately so I try my best to like be up no later than noon ever um because if I wake up after noon I'm just kind of ruined for the day okay okay we're getting somewhere it's not bad I feel like this is gonna take a really long time But I do like the volume it gives it. <laughs> Long wigs are the bane of my existence, by the way. I wish I had like a little place to put this that wasn't gonna catch on fire, you know? Fred is number one. I don't know. I give him a, a sly number six. <laughs> Hi, AJ. Nope, that's not what I want. Why, why is that what I want? I want this one, wherever this one is. I think that is this one. Nice, okay. ginormous pins behind the couch. Oh, I'm sure I'll find that later. Hello, welcome to stream. I used to be exactly like that, um, though, where I would just um, sleep for like three or four hours and then be good for the day, and I actually preferred it, to be honest. Oh my god, right? It's so funny, because I used to use crimpers when I was younger, and I never considered them for wigs. And then I was watching some tutorials on YouTube, as one does. I YouTube everything. And everyone was like, yeah, use a crimper. Add some volume to your long wigs. And I was like, did I hear that right? A crimper? <laughs> and lo and behold, pretty popular. I'm just behind usually behind them. It is making this area very warm, but it could also be the double ring lights. Double ring lights, two heated appliances, you know. I'm so interested to see how like big this makes this. Ugh. What if I just l I didn't have to sit on my like feet and I just lowered this? Maybe. That'll probably work. What if I just keep crimping it over? Like multiple crimps, like crimp section. <laughs> I used to use crimpers 
um, in high school when I would like try and make like tease my hair for like um, you know the the like raccoony fucking hair dye where it was like red black red black red black and things like that and then you would like crimp those pieces then you'd crimp the top and tease the top and it would just be like a I don't even know how to explain it you look like a weird dandelion with a, a mullet and that was the like scene style and you had like the side bangs That's what it reminds me of. Um, my good old scene days. I had snake bites. I was like, I was really going through it. Yeah, it looks like a mess to her. Yeah, I was like, I don't think crimpers really do anything for your hair unless you have like really pin straight hair. It was really obnoxious. We would straighten our hair, right? And then we would crimp it. Um, Cause I had curly hair. Like the shorter my hair is, the more curly it is. Um, it's relaxed a bit as I've gotten older. But when I was younger, it was so curly. Um, which is weird because when I was like a baby, I had pin straight black hair. Um, and then it was like pitch black. I had like the straight hime basic bitch cut um like put a bowl on your head cut the bangs across kind of haircut you know oh no i'm sorry you can't hear is it because i'm talking too low or is it um, like a, a phone thingy, like a your end thingy, or is it a my end thingy? You know, I'm just, I'm just not in the mood to freestyle any runner ever in my life, so sorry, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to find a, a new, new streamer. I bet you there is one streamer on here that might want to, but I wish you luck on your search for the One Piece. Oh, thanks. I just use like a pencil and then I brush it out. Hey, Sam, welcome. I'm making a Miss Hema wig. So it's gonna add some fullness to the to the wig because it's an Amazon wig. It doesn't have very like, I guess, appropriate density for how I want the wig to like look and everything. Cause I want it to look very full and very much like a Cause like Goro is very uh, fluffy, so I kind of wanted his wig to also look fluffy, even as Miss Hina. So this is just gonna add a little bit of fluffy things, maybe in theory. I don't know. I'm doing it because YouTube told me to. So we're trying new things, right? Fancy crimping. Um, so fun fact, uh, my bun is, I don't know if you guys ever, they're, they're kind of obsolete now, but it's like a, a scrunchie with hair <laughs> that matches your hair. And it, I don't know, it's a very Hispanic thing. Um, it's not, it's weird where it's like a scrunchie that has hair and then you put your hair in it and it just. It just adds volume, I guess, to the bun. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Um, I just really love them because I think they're really neat and they make fluffy, like, giant buns. Um, these and the little donuts. I have a little donuts where you, like, wrap your hair around the donut so it's, like, a, a smooth kind of sleek bun. This is just, like, the messy version of it. I like tedious tasks, I think, um, which is why I like uh, quickly rolling out cosplay is so difficult for me because I like to just kind of take my time with things, which is probably what the dilemma I'm having with Kaya is right now because like I have a whole store about Kaya, right? And I could, in theory, just shoot the store about Kaya and call it a day, but I've somehow landed myself in a, the seat where I've... Uh, made a whole Kaya shirt from scratch. Um, I don't know how I got there. I altered one thing and then I was like not good enough and I altered another thing and I wasn't happy with it. And it just became the thing where I altered so much that I just started from scratch. Well, I got fed up and started from scratch. So I'm gonna use the one that store bought and just tear it up and like turn it into like a battle damage Kaya. And the one I make from scratch will be like the one I wear that's not battle damaged. Hello, welcome to stream. <laughs> I am Hispanic, yeah, it's a very Hispanic thing. That and like, so when I was in high school, it's really funny. Um, Cause I don't wear the, I wear tiny hoops now. When I was in high school, I wore the big, like, we had, like, the sleek buns, and it was, like, tight here, and then you had, like, little curls, right? And then you had the big, um, gold hoops, and you would wear, like, them in, like, differing sizes. Like, some people would just wear one set of hoops, right? But I had, like, a bunch of earring holes, so I would have the big one, and then a slightly smaller one, and then a smaller one. <laughs> so I'd do three giant hoops on both sides, and... I would just the like the knit tank tops and like the the button ups over it and the ripped jeans and it was just it was very uh like I don't know uh there was a lot of uh flavorful phrases that people in high school used for the way I dressed so I went through a lot of different phases where I was like oh I don't want to dress like this because people are making fun of it and then, but I really loved how that style looked. And then um, there was the scene phase with my nice Hispanic flair where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wear the hoops with the scene phase. So it was like super teased hair, giant hoops. And like, it was just, it was a mess. It was a hot mess. The pipeline was bullied, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I was bullied into being seen. Um, and then also I think it was the rebellion, the, the, the rebellion pipeline that you got kicked out when you were 15 rebellious pipeline um, was there too. So like I was like super family oriented and like, you know, hell yeah showing up to everyone's quinceanera and everything and my own and whatnot and then zero to a hundred scene back alley tattoos piercings that kind of thing um okay, i'm gonna braid this for now because i kind of want to move up See, you get it, Sam. Hoops with the scene phase. It was a look. It was just a look. And if anyone didn't think it was a look, that was them. I know most of the um, scene people in our group had like the really edgy earrings where they were like butcher knives or they had gauges. I've never had gauges, so I just existed in hoop land. Um, and then 
had like the the layers you had like the layered chains they were like the um the linked layer chains they were gold and then a lot of the time they had like they were encrusted with like diamonds and stuff they're really pretty um and you'd put like really big emblem pendants on it like they had like a playboy one i think <laughs> i'm nice with that like a playboy one i was a disaster human if i'm being honest um and i think i had a mustang one like i had no i had a mustang belt it was like the mustang logo but it was a belt i don't know it's just very about it i was really into cars though so i think that made a lot more sense um with that context i was into cars and motorcycles and stuff and i taught like a motorcycle safety course and everything Yeah, see, that, that's the fun part about being kicked out, is you can't get in trouble for all the shitty decisions you make. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there is a fun part, but if you're looking for the bright side of things, yeah, like, there's no one to tell me what I could and couldn't do anymore. Um, so everything was on the table. Just like a free for all at that point. You were just, you were covering every single base. You were like, hoops and gauges. I need to cover, cover all the bases. Make sure it's like 100% uh, understood where my, my scene loyalties lie. It's like, uh, you're like, pick one or the other. You're like both. Will we actually get to styling this wig or will we just crimp it for four hours? Who knows? I'm actually gonna turn off this little one and I'm just gonna use the little one for the, the like regular Goro wig. I'm just gonna use the big one because I have been using the big one. I think it just works better, honestly. That's fair, yeah. I was like, I did get the tattoo, and it was actually really cheap because I got it from some guy in a trailer park. 10 out of 10, do not recommend because I really want to cover it up now because it's so bad. It's such a bad tattoo. Um, it's definitely a representation of my misguided youth, though. You know the things where you're like, that's going to be on your body forever. Yeah, that that's the, <laughs> the scenario where that works. It's super like deep and scarred over and black and, um, but like muddled black, like, so tattoos, if they're not done well, the blacks muddle. Like this one um, is actually really poorly done and the blacks have muddled together a lot because it wasn't a solid piece in the beginning and it just kind of blended together. Oh my god, I, I feel that so badly. I styled a Kaya wig last July, and I still haven't worn it. Um, so I 100% understand the, the procrastination pipeline of like just being like, well, I don't know. My whole thing is like, I want to do things, but like I want to do them with like somebody else. So back then, none of my friends were really actively doing Genshin, so I was like, uh, nah, I'll just wait. And now everyone's doing Genshin. I have all this like backlog stuff, so now I don't know where to start. Like I don't know which one I want to start with. Obviously, like my whole soul was in. Zhongli, so I made sure he got done immediately. So he's done, but yeah. as for like um, all the other ones I have, they're not done. Okay. 
You've been subscribed for 17 months and I'm only now making a, a stream schedule. You're like, wow. Hello, welcome to stream. Oh my God, some of our schools have uniforms, but a lot of them don't here. Um, but I did go to one school that had a uniform and I hated it. I would just, I would ruin the uniform whenever I could because I was a little, a little tyrant of a child. Um, but yeah, a lot of the schooling, all the schooling I did outside of um, here, I had a uniform. Like, but outside of the states, it's always a uniform. And it was never like free range. And then I got here, and they're like, "Yep, you, you can just pick whatever you want." And I hate that. And I, I think. So what people are like, oh, well, let them dress the way they want to to give self-expression. I think that's the stupidest fucking thing ever because if you have everyone wear the same uniform, right? There's only like so much um, classism that can happen in terms of like clothes, right? Um, Cause you're all wearing the same thing. So it puts you on the same like playing level. But when you have to, um, pick your own outfit every day yes there's more individuality but it is also super it's like more obvious and more uh it's more um common for bullying to be centralized around what someone wears what they can afford and things like that and i hate it um i think uniforms are an incredible idea also like like you have less issues with dress codes. There's not like a, some weird thing. But at the same time, I also think, uh, I feel like dress code, I think everyone should wear pants. I don't understand the like, like necessity to wear skirts. I, I do think if you wanna wear skirts, it should be an option. Go ahead and knock yourself out. But having like, I would think uniforms should be gender neutral. They should be mandatory and gender neutral. So you got girls that want to wear skirts? Sure. You want boys that want to wear skirts? Sure. You got girls that want to wear pants? Sure. And I think that's how it should be. Um, but, you know, the planet is not that simple, I guess. True. Stationary and bags are also a huge thing. Um, but for the most part, I don't know if it was the same for you. When we got, so the stationary, yes, but the bags, when I got into school, you would change out of your regular shoes and you would put on like school shoes and then you would have like a place to put your bag. You didn't carry it with you. You only carried your books with you. Um, you couldn't have bags in the classrooms. Um, or could you have flags? I don't think you could have the bags in the classrooms. I'm not, I can't remember, honestly. It was so long ago. In America, you can. You can have, maybe. I'm old, guys. I don't remember. <laughs> Gotcha. That's so interesting. Ugh, I 
burnt my old fingies when I grabbed this thing from falling earlier and it's so mad. relaxing stream very quiet the driver has changed three times for our for office order yeah i finally like messaged the one lady who's doing it now and i asked her and she's like oh i'm really sorry a carabas is super backed up your order wasn't even ready yet she said it's not even ready right now oh wow yeah but she said that she thinks our order is coming up next that's probably after. why they're the drivers are changing because they're waiting for too long and it's not worth the wait. It's not worth the wait for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, man, they don't want to deliver up our food. That sucks. Meanwhile, Carabas is like, LOL, no food for you. Like, all of our servers pulled out. <laughs> I really do need to work on you, Miko. Really badly. <laughs> you, yes, yes. If you had a yay Miko wig, I'd crimp it for you. Hmm? If you had a yay Miko wig, I'd crimp it for you. I do have one. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'd crimp it for you. You want to crimp it? Yeah, I can crimp. Mm -hmm. Just the bottom layers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll throw them out here. Um, do you want me to grab your wig head? No, I'll just put it on this. Okay. Well, are you going to... Do you want me to leave it on a wig head? If so, then give me the wig head. Uh, no, you can just put it back inside. The bag? Yeah. Okay. My phone is, like, about to perish. Everyone says hello, Liz. Hello. I'm going back to my stream. Liz in the distance, yeah. She's going back to her Dorian stream. crimping for a while guys crimping my stuff and now I'm crimping Liz's Did you close your door? Yeah, honestly, if you need to add volume to anything, this is a great option. Um, it makes things way thicker than they come. Especially if you're using, like, a wig that's not, like, um, thick to begin with. Like, it's just, like, these very... It also kind of mattifies it a little bit, which is nice because sometimes the, like, wigs are very shiny when they get to you. She's a mess, like a absolute disaster. Oh, thank you.
I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, she's just a disaster. We just we we stand a hot disaster. <laughs> and no door closing is a disaster. <sighs> I just I just think it's okay. Anyway. We love her and all of her um, her decisions. <laughs> it's ASMR. I'm crying. Okay. I don't think she realizes how like much the the audio picks up. In the household, so it just doesn't think about it. I was like, I'm a very quiet person, so I think it's like a little bit more obvious to me. But also tell me if I'm being too quiet and I'll talk louder. This is just like my low, uh, low energy voice and it doesn't like wear me out. Just like my comfortable voice. She decided she was gonna make the the AS like household ASMR. She notices all the things, but not this. You know. It's funny though because she does like we'll just be like I'll be like talking to her and she'll hear like a weird sound, and she'll stop everything she's doing because she's like, "What was that?" And I was like, "Probably just the house creaking." And she's like, "No, it was, it was suspicious." And I'm like. <laughs> I don't I don't know what it was. My dear, something, I guess. <gasps> Hello, J Wolf and your party of two. Welcome to the stream. We're crimping things. Man, this is gonna like make my forearms great. The amount of like just gripping you have to do. Do you guys like it without background music or do you want like a and a royalty free playlist going on in the background. Or do you like it just with like me intermingling a thought every now and then? When did I get that tattoo in my wrist? Um, fun fact, it was a friendship tattoo. I got spontaneously with an old best friend I have. Um, we're not really friends anymore, but uh, I got it over eight years ago. My last tattoo was six years ago, which is a, a depressing fact now that I say it out loud. You guys can have ASMR, Liz talking, or just screeching voices in the background.
Hers is very much the high energy one and I'm like the low energy one, but like she's also like high energy and then falls asleep for like 12 hours while I'm low energy for like 24 hours. Low energy for longer and she's high energy for shorter, if that makes sense. I think for the top part of this, I might show you how I normally tease things. Or maybe I'll do that for Gora. I'll show you how I normally tease things. Yeah, I got it off of Amazon. I can link you guys um, in the Discord at Her and Done Streaming if you are interested in it. Yeah, very much Liz would be Mike because like I'm I think I'm like the quieter one. <laughs> but I like very much feed off of her energy. While it's existing at least. Yes, Liz's beanie. I think she put in her story yesterday. Um, and then she put she put the mice in the story too. Cause she tagged me in one of them. But they both came in. They're great. He got us so much mice now. He's like a mice king. Did you also get the bed, or was that someone else? Someone bought the bed. I think the bed might have been somebody else. But either way, he got a, a whole bunch of Amazon packages the other day. I was like, I got it, and I was like, these are all for Liz, that's interesting, and she opened them, and they were all for, actually for Negan, and I was like, that, that, the tracks. <laughs> my favorite anime, ugh, unfortunately my favorite anime is My Hero Academia. I'm not a huge fan of the fandom, but I love the show. I love the story. I love the characters. It's just really good. If I had to choose one that wasn't like fantasy based and that was more not like, like a slice of life, I guess in a really dramatic life, it would be Banana Fish. I adore Banana Fish. Um, Currently, things I'm obsessed with include Spike's family. Um, I'm re obsessed with Moriarty and the Patriot, and um, what do you call it? And the Queso uh, Valentes, because I finally got Liz to watch both of those shows, and she likes them, so pretty exciting. I always try to get Liz to watch things when they're like relevant and like new and she's like mm, no mm. she's got like this ingrained hipster energy where she doesn't want to like anything when it's popular um so just know that after Spy X Family is like over for like a month you'll probably get content from us from the that Spy X Family because I have yours brother and I have um what's his name I have Lloyd completely done and I have Yuri completely done. But I am waiting for Liz to finish her yore. Which has been a hundred years. And yet I still have no waifu. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I'm obsessed with Moriarty and the Patriot. It's such a good story. I like any kind of story where um, a protagonist makes themselves a necessary evil. Like um, Code Geass did it as well. It's so good. I just love that plot line. It's such a crazy plot device because it takes like, um, it's for the greater good, but it's like chaotic. It's like lawful, is it lawful? Chaotic, lawful, lawful, lawful good, chaotic good, chaotic good, maybe? I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I mean, right? Um, it's just for hair sectioning. Um, once I get all of this pieces crimped, um, I'll undo the braids and everything and then I'll turn it around and we'll do like the fluffy top style. Um, cause it's got like, I wish I had my iPad. I wonder if Lizzie's iPad is dead. I'm gonna find out. Knowing her, it probably, oh, it isn't. It has 1%. What is the likelihood it will die? Okay, let's see if I can remember her password. That's fair. <sighs> yeah, so here's both of them together. So this will be kind of good for like reference. Um, So this is the character, right? And this is his like pseudo dressed up kind of form. And this is the long haired version that we're working on. And um, she's very cute. I wonder if I can click this or something. to see spoiler give me spoiler again to okay here we go okay there we go so that's what we're we're working on that's that's the reference yeah he a puppy puppy boy um he's like cute little um shiba ears and everything 10 out of 10 very cute very cute okay so i don't want to crimp the very top layer maybe maybe i do i don't really know let's lower this a bit real cute um he's i have like this tendency to like do like look at small characters and be like 
I don't want to be that small character and then make them ginormous and everyone's like oh, why didn't you do the buff one why did you do this one and they hate it <laughs> this is my favorite thing by the way because I was like I think you should be able to cosplay whoever you want I was like if I want to be this buff small dog boy I should be able to be this buff small dog boy I will eventually do Ito as well but I am gonna do this bitch as well because <laughs> bitch anyway um because I, I love this his whole story like the whole like fact that like Ito's obsessed with Miss Hina right um but Miss Hina's actually Goro and Ito just doesn't know I'm, like eating it up I was like, what in the fan fiction? I'm literally, so Ito, um, I pre-ordered the, like, the costume for him, like, months ago. So I don't know when it's actually going to show up, but I am going to end up styling his wig before he, his actual costume shows up. And I'll do, like, a casual makeup test for him. So you can look at how my makeup and how my hair is going to look for him. And then when his costume gets in, I'll do like a whole Ito look. Yay, Yay Miko is the smartest person in all the kitchen. <laughs> but really like, you know, I know how to make you popular. You're really good at giving advice. You're going to give advice, but you're going to do it in this really attractive uh, alias I've created for you. Yeah. It's like one of the pre-orders costumes, so you gotta wait like six to eight months to get it. Oh my god, I'd love to do Beto. Um, Liz is actually supposed to do Beto with my Ning Long, but I might actually do Beto too, since Liz is in no rush to do Beto with my Ning Long. Pew pew. I got us these matching lingerie sets to do this then too. So she just has to style the wig and make an eye patch. I forever have like 30 million different like couple ideas that Liz is just like, hmm, but I would like to do this other thing. And I'm like, ah, boo. I bought these like little cow lingerie sets. They're like little cows, right? I bought one for me and I bought one for Liz. And I wanted to do Shinhe and um, Genya because I thought it would be cute to do those two together in little cow lingerie outfits. Cosplay is my full-time job, but like a bunch of different aspects of cosplay. So I do company contracts where I make costumes for companies. And I also do product sponsorships where I sh like review and shoot and do collaborations with sponsorships. I also do ambassadorships where I try out products and I have like a, a commission from Link Clicks 
I also do Patreon where there's exclusive video and photo content. I also do OnlyFans, which is like your more spicy, like uh, exclusive content um, that never sees the light of day. Um, and then I do like Twitch streaming, rarely. Twitch streaming doesn't really bring in much revenue at all, um, but it's all like a few dollars here and there. And then I do, yeah, I do YouTube, but YouTube's income comes solely from Patreon because I don't monetize any of our videos on YouTube because they're all copyright songs. Um, so you can't monetize them, unfortunately, or else I think me and Liz would be making bank. But I think it's a little bit too late to worry about that now. And I think our videos do well because we use those copyrighted songs and people like the songs as well as the, the videos, so... Oh, hey, Blood Ninja, welcome to stream. Thanks for popping in, I appreciate your existence. Thanks, that one's doing so poorly in the views and it's because it's not anime and I knew it wouldn't do very well um, because on top of it not being anime, it is LGBT. Q plus, or what is, what is the other phrase Liz was telling me? The Alphabet Mafia. It is very Alphabet Mafia um, vibes, and I know a lot of people are, like, the DC fandom has, like, a lot of, like, homophobia in it, um, to no one's surprise. So I knew it would not do as well as it could do because of the content, the scripting, and the fandom, but I really wanted to do it because I love DC and I'm gay as hell, so obviously I was not going to keep it straight. Yeah, comic fandom is really hard um, to do anything in, especially when you don't want straight content. Oh, good night. Thank you for following me on everything. I appreciate you a million. Have you? I hope you have a, a, a good sleep, you know? And um, that your day tomorrow is wonderful. But good night, Germany. Oh my god, yes. Under the red um hood film is or animated film is my favorite dc film in existence i do like death in the family too um but death in the family is i do like the interactive one because i think all the like different endings are cool but it still doesn't compare to under the red hood young justice is also pretty good though you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys watch that. Okay, let's see. Bye. Okay. So I have crimped basically where I want crimped. So now we're going to. Take out these clippies, pull it out, brush it out, see how it's doing. Oh 
my god, I used to be like madly obsessed with Teen Titans. Like I would draw fan art of it and like little comics and everything. And I was really obsessed with the the end um one, two and three, so I would draw like alternate endings to that um plot point. Um and I I liked Raven and Robin together. Um, I know a lot of people are like, Beast Boy and Raven, which is fine. I was like, I like that too. But I was like, so about Raven and Robin when I was younger. I was like, Beast Boy's a he ate, but Raven and Robin, those flavors. Like that hug at the very end of that whole like plot. I was like, yes, this is the content that I've subscribed for. Right, bird couple. Bird couple. Ooh. All right. It's so thick now. This is great. 10 out of 10. I do recommend. I wonder if I can show you guys just... It like creates so much volume, but it's so subtle. Hold on, I'm gonna lift this for you. Like, it just looks so thick. And like, it fills up while it like used to be like a lot smaller, like it just naturally just fills out a larger amount of space. And you can't see the tracks and the wefting and everything, which is all pretty great. All right, let's see. So we're gonna tie this off so I can look at the top. Well, actually, no, we're not. I totally forgot. This isn't even the full thickness. I forgot the top layer of not crimpedness. I don't like Teen Titans Go. I hate the art style. I'm an art style snob, though. Um, it's weird. I don't think it's true to the characters. I'm just not a huge fan, if I'm being honest. Wow, look at that. This is great. This is great. Whoa. Our food's like two minutes away, so Liz is just screaming about it in the other room. Oh my god, yes, I love that episode when she's like, let me see through your eyes. And then, um, what do you call it, Slade punches him, and then she's like, Slade! I love that episode, it's so good. Oh my god, that? Or, wait, is that the one you're talking about? And the, the birthday arc, that's the, is that the, yeah, the birthday arc is the, um, the end, um, three, the three part, the end, uh, arc, but also the one where they're watching the horror movie and, um, she doesn't realize she's scared and she's suppressing it and he like, he's like, you're the one creating the monster, like no one's getting hurt, like you're creating these monsters it's in your head and like helps her out there. Delicious. Very great. Ten out of ten. Boop, 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 boop. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So for the front, I think I'm going to pause on Goro and move over to Liz's because I have to crimp Liz's. But the next part of Goro's is a different 
heating appliance. So put that over there for now. already pretty thick. I'm gonna brush this out and see if she actually wants this any thicker because she doesn't really like thick woods to begin with. Oh, that's the door. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Delicious. Armagianos or Carabas is here. Um, okay. This is so weird. Why are they? So there's two tiny hair ties and two big hair ties. One big hair tie. So, Hocus Pocus, there is a part two, apparently. I haven't seen the, um, the, the Hocus Pocus 2 trailer yet, but apparently it exists. I'll go watch it while I'm eating food in a minute. Boop, boop, boom. Look at this hay. It's, like, shedding. Hmm. Interesting. Anywho. All right. We got it from, where did we get that pillow from? Pretty sure it was Joann's during the like Halloween, um, like sale, because like if you wait till Halloween's over, all of their Halloween decor is like 70% off. It was like a $40 pillow, but we waited till it was $70 off and then I bought it. I was like, this is, this is our vibes, I feel. This is a very thick wig. I don't know if she wants anything like this. I was like, it is so big. Okay. I'm gonna use the volumizing brush. I'll just crimp the long parts for her. Oh my god, yes. Um it's a super good point. Um I can't remember. Was it I know I'm pretty sure it was Beast Boy, but was it just Beast Boy that went into the mirror um, when she was trapped in the mirror or no? I can't remember. That was also a good scene regardless um, or a good plot development going on there, you know? Okay. I already got the food, you pedo. Oh, yeah, nice. it's on the counter. Me too. Me too. All right, cool. All right. 
Oh, thank you. You're very nice. What a nice person you are. Okay. I'm gonna clip this into place so I can crimp just the underneath. You know, I don't know if she's sure, but she said crimp it, so I'm crimping the underneath. If she doesn't like it, she can straighten it back out. Um, she was like, crimp this for me, and I was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> she looked like to just like have me do things and be like, oh, it's so thick. Why'd you do this? And I was like, you told me to do this. What do you mean, why'd you do this? Ridiculous. It is so thick. It is like insanely thick. Um, so I'm only going to crimp this very bottom layer. <laughs> and then she can tell me if she really wants the rest crimped. Yeah, you know, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, I believe that 100%. So crimp it, she says. Crimp it, I shall. Did this turn off? Damn, it really said no. It's a rolling crimper. I have whatever this one is. I don't know. It looks like a, a monster mouth. Okay, so I'm thinking the plan is going to be, I'm going to crimp this bottom layer, I'm going to get off live, I'm going to eat Carabas, I'm going to come back, I'm going to live again, and we're going to either crimp more this way, if Liz wants more of it crimped, or we're going to move on to showing you guys how to tease up a shorter wig the way I like to do it because it's fast. It's fast and dirty and this is slow and meticulous. Which I mean, you know, I do appreciate like a nice meticulous like craft, but it's kind of boring after a while. Or, or hear me out, I could get back on live and I could um, do some, some molding stuff. Like, because I have to create a few pieces for Kaya's armor from some molds I made from the Dangerous Lady Masters. And I can show you guys how to do that. Or fast and dirty wig styling. What, what pleases you guys more? I think a rolling crimper sounds incredibly helpful and I, I don't own one of those unfortunately I 
I we are not married. I I just use that phrase a lot because I feel like it it we might as well be married. That one will be like a, a crazy like science experiment stream <laughs> where I'm like, go try this at home chaotically measure stuff out and pours it in hopes it's like my way of molding things is so chaotic that it's never a level so I'm like the whole time balancing and trying not to spill it all over everything because it's like a sideways mold welcome back <laughs> hey Sam we're crimping yay Nico now for Liz just cryptacular today until I eat some pasta. I kind of want to go over and eat the bread, but I'm waiting for Liz to get done with this chapter of her whole thing. Mm Honestly, if we ever got married, I don't know if we'd invite anybody. Well, I guess we probably would. I don't know if I'd ever get married. Like, I don't know. I was like, I don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a wedding. I'm like a, one of those like extremely selfish people where I think like a wedding should just be like a very personal thing and I know a lot of people are like no share it with all the people you love and I was like I don't want I don't like that something being that out of control like something a day that that's important like a day that is that important to me having all of these variables I can't control like these people like what if someone gets like they eat something wrong and have an allergic reaction on my wedding day I don't want that I don't want un controllable variables um to ruin a day especially if I end up spending a lot of money on it I was like I'm like the most in that in that terms I'm a, I'm a romantic those are all the pins um, I'm a romantically selfish human being so I oof, want that day to be perfect and I don't want it to be messed up by anyone but myself. Like, if I'm gonna fuck it up, I'm gonna fuck it up. But nobody else is gonna fuck it up for me, you know? Alright. This is terrible. Okay. 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 There's so many pins on the floor, and I can't leave them here because Liz's cat will eat them because he hates me. And he is a literal disaster cat. Oh, I dropped another one on the floor. Enjoy my time. Okay. This is fine. Yeah, there's also that, like, so Liz's parents are very, very Christian. Um, <laughs> so that's like a whole nother jar of worms that we haven't even touched. Loop, loop. These are the other things people use with these things, by the way. They're a little bit more handy.
can just go like this and then it just like holds the hair. It's like kind of a little, a little fancy clip. Fancy boy. They hold it a little bit better like that. Wow. Meat mimp. Don't you fall again. I'm not doing this. Not today, Satan. This like jar of pins is actually out to get me. Like unless I invite him specifically, I do. I don't want. To. <laughs> I was like, Jesus is an invite-only kind of guest to the wedding, so. This, is, this wig uh, for Yay Miko for Liz is actually from one of you guys. It's from Miss Angel. Oof. She left a little like gift receipt in it. That's cute. Okay. Now that we've done this and braided it, I'm going to eat carapas and then I will be back on in like 45 minutes um, and if you guys want to pop back in hang out for a little bit longer maybe we'll do some casting instead of wig styling but I'll vote on it when, when I come back so dinner time bye